Allison, your artistic independent study hinges on you actually making a documentary, not you filming us doing research. Professor, I am totally making a documentary. Yes, at this particular moment in time, we are doing research, but we are doing research on my best friend, Carl. I swear it's not just me talking about brains. Uh, we were actually filming before we got here this morning. Tell her, Carl. We were actually filming before we got here this morning. And we were not just talking about brains, we were talking about love and fashion. I hope you don't think I'm... I don't. I, I understand. It's important that you, it's important that we... Yeah, I, I know. It's, it's the art and the brain and the... Exactly. Yeah. That was weird. Yeah. Oh, and the camera's on, by the way. Oh, thanks, Greta. Today, we're doing a palate test and determining the contagiousness of the plague to other species. Just because we haven't seen any zombie deer shambling about doesn't mean they don't exist. Plus, it will allow us to more humanely test the point of no return. Uh, right. It would be easier to test on a small scale how long a zombie starved of brains loses its ability to overcome the plague and act, for lack of a better term, normal again. We've already determined that plague saliva interacting with an open wound transfers the infection causing zombification causing zombification. Today we're seeing if that same principle works with undead human saliva and the open wounds of different animals. You, you didn't name them again. Allison! I'm sorry, the rabbit just looks like a Prince Charming. Can I perform the eulogy again? Will you get on with it already? Sorry, Greta, is it still recording? Yes. Okay, lightning round. We're going to inflict a small wound in each of these animals, and then Carl here will spit in them. Do you have a better idea? Who's the scientist? You are. I am. So after Carl spits in the wounds, we're going to anesthetize the animals and monitor their brain functions to see if the plague takes. Now, while we wait to see if they show or don't show, as the case may be, zombie symptoms, we're going to have Carl here try a variety of different animal brains and monitor his brain functions to see how consumption affects his neurochemistry. We're also gonna ask him how each one tastes. For science. For science. Feel free to start with whichever species you like. I'm gonna start with pigeon. It's my favorite. I know. Can I get a utensil? Carl, just eat the brain. Could use some salt. It kind of tastes like chicken. I, I really didn't want to make that comparison, but it really does. Roasted chicken? Grilled chicken? Fried chicken. This is disgusting. I'm going to get lunch. You guys want anything? Burrito! I don't think they have burritos. This is the worst apocalypse ever. Uh, just give me a sandwich. No tomatoes, please. Sandwich, extra tomatoes. Got it. Professor? No, thank you. I I've lost my appetite. Try the squirrel next. Squirrel? Yeah. God. It tastes like ass. <clears throat> You've tasted buttocks? In my experience, the undead only eat... I don't think he's saying he's literally eaten ass, Professor. His words. Yes, uh, Professor, I've not literally eaten buttocks before, but were I to speculate, I would say that squirrel brains taste just like dirty, congealed ass. How scientific. Don't worry, Professor. I can translate Carly's. Yeah, I think I liked it better when the two of you weren't friends. It was a much more professional atmosphere. Prince Charming is dead. The rabbit. Dead or undead? Pretty sure just dead. The other animals are starting to come out of anesthesia, but my prince is 100% dead. Are any of the others showing signs of the plague? Uh, the mouse has a fever, but otherwise they're unaffected. We've seen humans infected, 
killed and transitioned in under an hour. These creatures' immune systems are smaller and much less complicated. If they were gonna turn, they would have done so already. That's too bad. It's much easier to do research on the micro level. Sorry to derail the science train, guys, but I'm stuffed. Very well. We'd better start dinner for the rest of the campus. Right. We good? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay. Uh, no, it's the, you're hooked up to like really expensive stuff. Hold on. Um, okay, let's. Just like. Uh, Greta, can you turn the camera off and come help me? I think it's important for viewers to see how little of a physical threat zombies pose these days. Oh, that's not good. That's oh. What is that? Pathetic. Come on, Greta, help me out. The faster we get him untangled, the faster we can eat tonight. I don't eat anything he prepares. Can't trust a man without a pulse. 